Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John Coleman and I today are getting together with Bill Jordan, a friend and philosopher, magnificent. <laughs> friend and philosopher. I like the friendly philosopher. I like the alliteration. Very nice. nice. Yeah, uh, Bill, you looked a little shocked at that uh, uh, that introduction. I, I I was impressed. Well, you shouldn't be because you are um, you are my philosopher. I was reading your book recently. It's a great little book. It's called I read it every Embrace day. I read, I read a practice every day. There's 15 practices. I read one every day. Yep. And and I was stopping at today at number five. Hmm. Yes. And I noticed that number five is, first of all, I, I love uh, all of them, but number five is take nothing personally. And I thought that was really good because it we we often react to things as if it affects us. And most of the stuff we react to really doesn't affect us. We can just just say, well, that's interesting. We don't yeah. have to take it all personally. Yeah, I mean, you can see uh, you know, a post on social media that you disagree with or quote, offends you, and you are, it is possible to keep scrolling. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's possible to keep scrolling or it's possible to unfollow that person or that entity or that company or whatever it might be. It's quite possible and just kind of keep, you know, kind of an even even keel kind of going. In this chapter, let's all turn in our book, shall we, to, uh, to practice number five. Uh, I referenced the book, uh, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And this yep. is a very famous book, The Four Agreements, and I picked one of them and that was Take Nothing Personally. Um, and it, and it is hard to do. And one of the examples I use is like, for example, if you find out that there was a party, a friend of yours threw a party and you weren't invited. Well, unless you have all the facts, you don't know what that party was about. It might have been people only from their job. It might have been, you know, celebrating somebody else's life that was not a mutual friend of yours. There, yeah. And and the bottom line is, even if it weren't, even if we're just friends and you were not included intentionally, would you really want to be at a party where you weren't welcome? Yeah. And probably not. Probably not. So, and then there's another one. I don't remember which ancient philosopher, you know, the guys who really knew what they were talking about was, you know, to live a happy life, you have the power to do that if you learn to be indifferent about that which makes no difference. You know? And many times this stuff just doesn't make any difference. Yeah. It's hard to do. When when somebody, certainly a stranger says something or makes some snide comment or whatever, the way I park or whatever, <laughs> whatever, you know, it doesn't matter because I don't know them. Now, granted, a family member or a close friend, if they say something that's kind of biting to me, I will take it personally, but I will eventually work my way through it to this is their perspective on something, right? Um, that is their, it is on them more than it's on me. Does that make you sense? You know, one of the, uh, one of the things that this made me think about after re reading it was that instead of taking something personally, I should just look at it, whatever ha was done or whatever was said, look at it as a, an observer. I'm a fly on the wall. I'm watching this thing happen. It doesn't affect me. It's just happening. I'm listening to what this person is saying. Even if it's an insult, I'm thinking not about me and I should be insulted and how hurt I am. I'm thinking about why are they saying this? Right. You know, right. it's a, it's a, I, I don't know if that relates directly to stoicism, but it is kind of a stoic I think principle. So. You mean like yeah. if they, if, if they really are doing something to say something to hurt you personally, and you can say, well, what's wrong with them? What's their issue? You know, it's the old yeah. Alfred, e, Alfred E. Newman. Let me worry. Well, okay. you yeah, know, I, know, I don't know a lot. Good. I don't. I don't know a lot about psychology, but I am somewhat amateurishly versed in the idea of projection, where someone puts on you a trait that they themselves possess. Yes. And they get mad at you for being 
fill in the blank when yep. they themselves are that way. And the best example I can get of that is I have not ever been told that I am a control freak by someone who was not they themselves a control freak. Yeah. yeah. And they and they were saying that only because I would not allow myself to be controlled by them. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's that's what it is. It's hard to do, but if we can detach ourselves, detach, take yes. a step back and go, okay, so why did this light this person up? Why are they saying this to me? More than likely, there is a trigger in them that is causing that. And they very well may be come, maybe come back later and apologize or not. And you need to be, it's best to be, maybe not you need to be, but it's best to be just kind of, Again, kind of even keel about it. Is it going to matter in five minutes to you or five hours or five weeks or five months to you? Is it right. really going to be that big a deal? You know, yeah. let it go while we can. Well, I don't want you to take this personally, Bill, but we really like you. Well, see, now that that that's a good thing to take personally. You know, there's there's anytime is during the negative. Don't take that personally. Positives, I think, yeah, we can gather them up. All we can, you know, you can't get enough attaboys, as we like to say, especially as a husband. You can't yeah. get enough attaboys. So uh, collect those all you want. Well, then I'm going to say, I'm going to say with full gusto, attaboy, and embrace the boom. Live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom, and live your best life. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, Subscribe to us on YouTube and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.